Hello again, YouTube. So we need to get into this particular video. This is very important because a lot of you guys, you you've been in marriages, you've been arguing with these chicks that is not the person physically, mentally, or socially that you married. Now we all know that people gonna change. But the change that a lot of guys endure is just not even fair at this point. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about some reasons why no man should even be just sitting there arguing with a woman. Like if with a, no man with a level head, no man with an understanding of her role, why she's there. Maybe guys who don't understand, remember the church will brainwash you into something else. But no level-headed man that understands will put up with this. See, this is why we tell y'all that they have an advantage when you marry them. And they have an advantage when you have kids with them. But you had sometimes when you put yourself in a non-advantageous situation, sometimes you have to just count up the cost and just chalk it up and do what's best for you. Because they are not even supposed, according to the scripture, they're not even supposed to be arguing with you as a man they supposed to be following your lead now all this stuff that done snuck in the game is not from God and it's not from the scripture it's them see a lot of people will say things like oh I don't get brainwashed uh, can't nobody brainwash me but then they bring all this Luciferian and all this non-biblical philosophy into their relationships okay i thought you said couldn't nobody brainwash then why are you trying to be somebody's wife that you're not submitting to after what the bible told you see everybody want god to do for them but they don't want to do what he said all these women want the most high they want to get on their knees and pray and whatever they ask the most high to do they want them to do but then they don't even be submitting to their husband. They've been uncheated and got away with it because he don't know. They be flirting around with other guys when he ain't around. They be liking guys. All type of stuff. But I'm, a, I'm here to tell you today, man, that and give you some reason why you shouldn't even be arguing with these chicks, man. Now, this ain't going to just be Bible. This going to be in general common sense in general like like again the only reason why a lot of these women still in play is because people want to do right according to the scriptures y'all all y'all got is the scriptures and sims that's all y'all got is the two s scriptures and sims Let's get into some of the reasons why. Like, if you're not a God-fearing man, get you should become one, but you a fool if you arguing with these women. Faint. I guarantee you, you, you begging some chick for sex with all these women out here selling it. So you telling me that she's better than all of them sexually? Impossible. But you got to beg her for a half performance. Not even for a good performance, but for a half performance. You got to argue with her. You got to beg her with all these women selling it. And that's the number one reason that we going to mention why you shouldn't be arguing with these women. That's number one. These women is selling it. That ain't no need to beg for no sex. Y'all, we basically are getting hoodwinked by our desire to do righteous. 
These women are scamming men, getting over on men because they want to do what's right. They can't get over on the men that don't care. They get over on the men that care. And some of them will try to throw the scripture in there too. You you changed, you blah, blah, blah. No, you did. So let me get this straight. Because I preach, that's why it's a dude, he be trolling. I don't even respond to his comments because of what I'm about to mention. Let me get this straight. When a person is a preacher, they can't want sex. The Bible don't teach that. If you believe the Bible teach that, you don't know the Bible. Wasn't David a preacher? Wasn't Solomon a preacher? Okay. People will try to... This is why y'all get manipulated by preachers. Because they try to manipulate preachers. They try to control preachers. That's why y'all get manipulated by them. You reap what you sow. So... There's no need to argue with no female. I don't need to be arguing with nobody that I ain't gonna get no fight or shootout with. I mean, let's settle our dispute right then and there, and if we can't, we leave each other alone. Otherwise, what's left? Fight and shoot, right? So, so why are these women all up in these men's faces Slapping phones out of their hand, poking them, putting their finger in their face. When you know dang well, and I just brought this up the other day, that if he get on you, you're going to call the police. And that's why I say, starting out, any dude that watched this video, dump her if she ever called the police on you, especially if she started. I don't care if you did get you some side. If she started it, which sometimes they started with what? Not giving you nothing. You starting stuff. You can't be in no relationship of no kind between man and woman intimately and not have sex. And you shouldn't if you don't want to. Why would you be with some this this what I'm telling y'all, man. We've been getting scammed. Think of how many women are only with their husband because of what he provides. When you, he can have a prostitute have his own place, scratching his butt, farting, doing whatever he wants, snoring, all the stuff that you complain about with him. And just go buy somebody. Most of these women ain't even worth it, man. If they going to come in arguing with you, disrespecting you, they not, not they I'm telling you, they messing you up spiritually and socially. These chicks will get you locked up, man. I told her, I said, I can't think of no reason in the world why I should be arguing with you. Ain't nothing going on with the kids. So... Those guys that I deal with, also other guys that I know, they all said, like my cousin said the same thing. When you in prison, you have to jack. How else will you get your, you know, your fluids out? We'll just call them fluids. But when you out here,
any man that's married that has, and we ain't talking about once, because sometimes guys just be wanting to jag anyway. But has to jag. Why are you married? Why do? You, why is she living with you? If she don't value you enough to throw that thing in your face and give it to you. I be thinking about this because I be out here and I know dang on well that a lot of the women that I see on the regular want to give me some of that. Facts. So I got to, I'm going to, I'm going to have to make a decision. I'm going to have to. Even if you got kids, you should be getting some. Don't let your kids, having kids, look, I had to tell somebody they were going to post something the other day that that little simp dude who always taking up for women did be on Instagram. I forgot his name. Y'all probably don't watch this video. I had to clarify something. I said, sometimes it be these women. These guys don't be running away from their kid. And definitely, I can't see myself putting no other kids, nobody else's kid. I'm not even playing that stepdaddy. I mean, if that's how they want to view if I got with somebody that had kids, I'm still not going to be your stepdad. I'm not going to try to raise somebody else's kid. That, that's going to be on her. If I was to meet somebody that had a young kid. But. There's no way I'm putting nobody else's kids in front of mine. Who, who even does that? If you doing that, shame on you. But there's no need to argue with these women, number one, because they can be bought. The main thing they got to offer can, is for sale. Practically menus of it. So I'm scrolling through there. Somebody told me about it. I'm looking like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Then I'm thinking like, why would any guy go back and forth with a woman over sex? That's why practically in the next two years, practically all these women that ain't valuing their husband, they're going to be hoes. They're going to be promiscuous. They're going to run the numbers up. They're going to be thoughts. Or ain't nobody going to deal with them. They think, oh, I'm going to get out here. I'm going to make them wait till marriage. Let's see you do it. you going to need a Forrest Gump or a Bubba. These dudes ain't waiting. You think you finna make them wait? Look, I, I want to see you do it. And I'm saying that to all these women who you had your turn. Somebody married you and you ruined it. You ruined it. And the only way he could stay with you is by being a fool. He would have to be a sucker to stay with you. You don't even have sex with him. You criticize everything about him. Even your jokes are criticism. And he should stay with you. There's no another reason. Because all these women, a lot of them said, if I ever get another chance at a good man, I'm going to do right this time. That's your competition. That's these women competition. 
all the women that know they messed up who just begging for a second chance. And a lot of them gonna do it again. But the fact that you could buy it, the fact that all these women want a man, it's many fish in the sea. Ain't no need to be fighting with one. That's almost like a fisherman who breaking his line trying to catch that one fish. He's spending all day trying to get the fish. The fish practically playing games with him. Man, reel your stuff back in, reset your line, and throw it back out there. What you fighting that one fish for? I don't believe in that. And I want your pastor to try to talk down on me or judge me spiritual. I'm, I'm finna start. See, I didn't even like doing that. But when people try to judge me wrong, I'm finna send that back that way. Ain't no need to force a relationship with all the people who want one. All the people that'll be better off for you. Sexually and all. Something you want to you wanna put it in her butt. She don't want to take it up the butt. I mean, if that's the only thing I could see a dude dealing with her. If it's not nothing major. But if every time you want to do something, she thinking the reason not to do it. It might be time for you to see what's available. She don't want to suck. But that's your favorite thing. And she did it before to a dude that didn't marry her. You see what I'm saying? Ain't no need, man. Ain't no need. And y'all, man, I'm just going to work it out. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You giving her advantage. It ain't going to work out. I'm available. I ain't trying to hear nobody. Judge me if you want. I'm going to send it right back to you.